One of the things that can cause chameleons to stop eating and become weak is kidney failure. This disorder should be suspected in any chameleon that has two or more of the following signs. A lump just in front of its pelvis, inability to defecate, fluid beneath the skin under its jaw or neck, dehydration even with plenty of water offered, a foul odor to its breath, swollen joints, bloodshot eyes, or white shiny deposits in the lining of its mouth. So why do chameleons seem so prone to kidney failure? While that is not necessarily a bad thing, many of these people underestimate the work that goes into owning a pet chameleon and this results in most pet chameleons dying within the first week of purchase, to help you avoid this, I have put together a list of the top 6 mistakes that pet chameleon owners tend to make, I put the free ebook below in the video description, give it a shot and let me know how it goes. Why do chameleons seem so prone to kidney failure? It is associated with two common husbandry errors, insufficient intake water and a lack of vitamin A in the diet. Most chameleons will only drinking moving water, captive specimens require water to be dripped or gently sprayed on them throughout the day to ensure that they are drinking enough, do not assume that a chameleon is drinking just because you have provided a drip system, make sure you observe your chameleon is actually drinking. In the wild, a chameleon's water also comes in the form of moisture in the air, this can be either through high relative humidity or by weather related such as fog, rain, or dew. In captivity, particularly in central Arizona, it is quite challenging to reach a sufficiently high relative humidity for any length of time without completely saturating a cage with water many times a day. An ultrasonic humidifier placed in the same room as a chameleon's cage may only bring that room up to 45 to 50 percent relative humidity, too low for a chameleon stay healthy if it endures that low humidity 24 hours a day, unless a lot of effort goes into creating a humid environment that is well ventilated, the chameleon will live in a much drier realm than its wild habitat. See the chameleon care guide for a detailed explanation of all you need to know about this, I put the official website below in the video description. Even the veiled chameleon, a more arid adapted species than many others in the pet trade, requires a few hours of high humidity every 24 hours to do well assess your chameleon's water intake daily and adjust the cage environment as needed to keep the air moist but fresh. A well hydrated chameleon has bulging eyes and skin that doesn't wrinkle, it also sheds easily and doesn't have old skin cling to its toes, tail tip, or around the eyes. If your chameleon shows any of these signs, it is likely underhydrated and under enough water stress to put it at risk of kidney failure. Many of the reptile vitamins on the market lack vitamin A. Their advertising and labeling suggest that the beta carotene they provide is an adequate substitute for vitamin A with chameleons and other reptiles. Unfortunately, there seems to be no rigorous scientific data to support this belief. Many chameleons and other insectivorous and carnivorous reptiles with overt vitamin A deficiencies that were fed supplements containing beta-carotene, a vitamin A deficiency changes the structure of certain cells within the kidney. As these cells become affected, the kidney is less efficient at processing wastes and moving them out of the body, over time, the waste products, known as urates, build up in the kidneys and cause them to enlarge, as the kidneys get bigger, they start to interfere with other body functions and can cause constipation and dystocia. The kidney also serves a vital role in balancing calcium and phosphorus levels in the body so once it is damaged then other organs are affected. Feel free to download our ebook on chameleon care, it will save you hours and hours of frustrating research and will also eliminate the worries and stress that come with reading something online and not knowing whether to trust it or not, it will also make sure that you do not make any mistakes or overlook important facts that could lead to suffering and even death for your pet chameleons, I put the official website below in the video description, thanks for watching.